Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're playing the dog. So, I have no idea as if this is actually supposed to be a psychological horror game or supposed to be silly as it does say that it's psychological horror but it also says it's a so short sketch game so I don't know if that just means that like it was sketched out or made as kind of like a sketch kind of point of view and it's still supposed to be horror but whenever I hear like, oh, this is like a little sketch, I think of skit. And those are kind of funny slash silly. So maybe this is just me misinterpreting. But yeah, there was one other thing though. The menu moves. It's small. But it's really cool. I like it. Oh, and that was a little timer to show you how long the uh, credits go for. That's a nice touch. I do like that. But let's get right into it. Start a new game. Yes. That was really cool. Well, I'm already good to go. The dog. Bye. Ship Captain Studios. Oh my god. Ooh, I already turned that up. That's a bit better. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Does no one notice that? Don't worry, pal. Oh, Daddy, who's that? Don't worry, pal. Shut the fuck up, Billy. <laughs> it's just our dog. No, let me eat my pancake. Oh. You useless fucking mutt. I just want to eat my goddamn pancake. Okay, interesting. I can sit back down. Well, since we're up, I want to check out the rest of the house, I guess. I don't expect there to be... I can zoom. Interesting. But yeah, I don't expect to be able to really interact with anything. I just want to check things out, you know? A lot of games don't give you this freedom. They kind of have it more on rails. Oh, this is our bed. Oh my god. It's a lovely bedroom. I mean, maybe a bit small, but no complaint there. That looks really weird, but I don't know. Kinda has its own charm to it, you know? I'm not. Oh, I can go. Oh my. Okay, never mind. You can't go out the front. Alright. Ugh. Hey, shut up. Aww. Oh, that's so sad. Nom, 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 nom. Yes, yes, so. 
12.35 p.m. Do 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 do. Oh, this music person. Fine, what do you want? Yeah. So, we are investigating a recent fire at a grocery store. That's nice. Just asking the neighbors if anyone saw anything. Uh, no, we usually shop at the mall. Oh, that's just a dog. Right. Sorry for the disturbance. Sorry I couldn't be more of help, officer. Yeah, walk away. With that. Oh my god, it's really big. That's a fine booty. Oh no. The quote unquote dog is the missing person. Honey, can you take a look at the TV? I think it doesn't work. Sure, darling. What do you want, Billy? Fuck you. Eh, yeah, I haven't done anything. <laughs> okay, look, I know I'm going hardcore bullying the one kid that asked a reasonable question. And I promise I'm not that much of a dick in real life. But, I don't know. I think it's kind of funny just to bully video game characters. Well, I guess it's to a point, you know? Because it leads a level where it does become too much. Where it's just kind of mean-spirited. Popeye, present. Daddy, you are the best. Yeah, and that's why you're my favorite. Yay, cartoons! Like fuck, this is a cartoon-free house. We only do anime. We only do... I don't actually... I was gonna say sports, but... I hate watching sports. Yeah, okay, we do anime in this household. We do the news, because news is can be important. Uh, what else? Um... I need one more thing. It's a rule of three, right? Um... Uh, I guess those shitty live-action shows... Uh, what do you call them? Um... You know... Oh, reality TV. Okay, there we go. We do the animes. We do the news. And we do the reality TV. No goddamn cartoons. You uncivilized swine. Odd AM? Oh god, that's fun. Oh my god, that's horrifying. Her neck is crooked. Oh my god. It looks broken. What the fuck? Awakened by noise. Everything is okay, dear. I'll handle it. Oh, what? Oh my god. Why does the game do that? It looks pretty bright out. I thought... That scared the shit out of me. It is a person. Oh my god. Though I won't lie. 
Jesus Christ. God. Oh God, my heart. God, I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack because of these one of these days. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Let's go. Is and what? Hey, Billy. Is that you, Kate? Honey? Don't worry, pal. It's just our dog. What the fuck? Okay, there has to be a way out, right? Oh my god, there's no way out. That's it. What the fuck was that game? I... So wait, is this actually us in the basement, or is this technically the beginning of the game? I don't know. Weird. Weird. The dog. That was really good, actually. I wouldn't really call it psychological horror, per se. But... It was really creepy, actually. I almost... Wish there was more build up than what we saw. Weird. Oh, hey, this is new. Alright, I'm cool with this. I'll end it here. Uh, it's an experimental game format. I want to try out. Oh, okay, it's more experimental. Okay. So, okay, I won't judge too much then. Uh, the story plot came after the fourth cup of coffee that day. I hope you found some aspects of it enjoyable. I did, actually. I thought the whole thing was enjoyable. I'd say... I only wish it was more... I guess... Lean more into that dread you get? With proper psychological horror? Um, like it hints at something that's gonna happen. And it hints at it more, and things get kind of creepier and more uneasy, you know? Um, but yeah, I think overall, this was really cool. I think, I think as far as what the game was trying to accomplish, I don't think it hits the psychological horror marks, but... It does hit some, like, creepy factors, and it distracts you enough that you don't really think about it. But if you think back on it, it's like, yeah, that is kind of creepy. That's why I say, like, if the game was longer and leaned into more of the psychological aspects, the small amount of time you get of, like, the lulls, actually wouldn't be too bad and would make more sense but yeah i think for an experimental game they did good so 
Awesome. And the sound. All of the sounds are just really good. That's, I think, one of the things I enjoy most about, like, indie games. Like, they know the importance of, like, small details, like sound. And it's almost always really well done. I appreciate that. But, yeah, I guess I'm rambling. I apologize. So, with that being said, thank you for tuning into The Frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares. <laughs>